What is the age of accountability? Well, there are really two ways to ask that question. One is asking for what is the definition of this phrase, age of accountability? And the other is to say, at what age does a person reach this age of accountability? For our listeners who have not grown up in the evangelical milieu, you may be unfamiliar with even the meaning of the term. What it it simply means is that uh, it is the affirmation that there is a particular age when uh, children move from being in a state of not being accountable for their sins to suddenly being accountable for their sins. That if they should, for instance, uh, die before they reach this age of accountability, they will enter into paradise as innocent creatures, not because Jesus suffered for them, but because they have no sin that can be morally accounted to them because God has determined they're not responsible That's what it means. What it is, is a completely and absolutely, utterly made up, unbiblical notion. The Bible says absolutely nothing about an age of accountability. It is an idea that was created in the minds of men to deal with the sticky problem of what do we do? How do we look at children who die before they're even able to make a profession of faith? And for many, not me, but for many before, as they would perceive it, before the child is able to come to a saving knowledge of Christ. And hey, presto, changeo, we'll just stick this into our uh, theology concepts. Uh, We won't find the first uh, bit of biblical support for it, but, but it will prop up our hope. Now, I will admit, I, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to actually, I, I, maybe I've been a little too harsh. Don't hold me accountable for that. But uh, I'm willing to agree to an age of accountability as long as we agree that the age of accountability is the moment of conception. We're accountable from the very beginning. The issue isn't whether or not we've committed this sin or committed that sin. The issue is what are we? This is why the doctrine of original sin is in the Bible. This is why David says that in Psalm 51, in sin did my mother conceive me. He's not saying my mother was sinning when she and my father came together in marital union. He's saying that from my conception, I've been a sinner. And as a sinner, he is under God's judgment unless or until He rests in the work of Christ. Well, are you saying then, R.C., that that all babies who die before a certain age are, are going to hell? I'm saying absolutely nothing of the sort. It's interesting. There's a older scholarly uh, journal article that uh, accuses me of saying exactly that simply because I take the position that there's no such thing as an age of accountability. I, I didn't say that at all. I don't embrace the idea that a very young child can't be blessed with the gift of faith. I'm able to distinguish between the ability that a child has to communicate and what the child actually knows. A child who rests in the work of Christ alone goes to heaven when they die. They may all go to heaven when they die. Maybe all of the children of believers go to heaven when they die, if they die at this young age. I don't know. The Bible doesn't say. I do know this. The Bible doesn't say there's an age of accountability. I believe that there's only one way for any human being 
who stands guilty before the living God, which includes all human beings from the moment of conception, with the exception of Jesus, any one of these people, the only way to escape the judgment of God is by each of them, one by one, personally, crying out for God's mercy in Christ. It doesn't have to be verbal. Internally, crying out for God's mercy in Christ. And when they do, every one of them goes to their eternal home, justified. <laughs>